What do you mean giving up your rights? Dude, people make mistakes. I've fucked up at jobs before in the past, too. I've talked about it. And things get better. And you know what? You'll fuck up again. And then they'll get better again. And you'll fuck up again and you'll get better again. I'm so, like, I'm just being real with you. That's life. So don't unalive yourself. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. No, his cock is not. A, that's I checked to make sure there's no cock. You'll have ups and you'll have downs. But trust me, to stay around for when the ups come back around again is worth it. That's as real as I could give it to you. So stay around because when the ups come back, you'll be like, thank fuck I'm here for him. And then you'll have downs again. I'm not going to lie to you. But then when you have those downs, remember that there will be the ups again. My apologies for initially sounding like I was being callous. I just didn't understand what you meant. And if you truly do feel that way, Of course, I can't find the number right now. You could actually, if you are from the States, you could actually dial 988. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is this? Anyway, but seriously, though, 988. Yes, and it is free. They're not going to charge for something like that. And that, that could help you get through it. It's not worth it, man. There'll be ups and there'll be downs, but just remember when there's a down, there'll be another up. And then on top of it, too, this is going to sound like a petty reason to stay around. If you want to live yourself... Not only the most important thing, it would hurt the rest of your family. You let the people that wanted to see you fail win. Stay around just to piss them off. Because then you do what they want. They won. It's that simple. It may sound like a very petty reason, but it is true. Anyway, I bet let's this will put you in a good mood. 